Hello, Black Swans. I'm going to talk with you today about something that keeps coming up over and over again. The yes mode, momentum selling, the yes momentum. Guys, I'm sorry, this stuff is killing you. It's a yes addiction. Being addicted to get the word yes is like being addicted to a drug. It kills you long term. It's killing your long term relationships. It's killing your ability to implement. It's killing your ability to make deals. The same way a drug ultimately consumes you, the yes mode consumes your relationships. I'll give you a great example. A student in one of my classes writes me a paper. He's a wealth manager, high net worth individuals. His secretary gets a message from his client's secretary. His client's moving all her accounts. She doesn't want to take, even tell him directly herself. She doesn't even want to tell his secretary directly. It's my people will call your people. She's that nervous about talking to him. He's a, he's a good guy. He's, he thinks he's got a good relationship with her. He manages to get her on the phone. She says, I just didn't want you to talk me into something again. This is what this yes mode does. People lose confidence in talking with you. They can't quite put their finger on it. They feel like they got talked into things. Ultimately, they stop communicating with you because you laid out logic or whatever seemed logical. It was yes. It was the yes trap. It stops people from communicating with you. It's, it erodes, it's a toxin that eats relationships till people get to the point they don't even wanna to talk to you on the phone anymore. If somebody's going silent on you, it's probably because you've been doing this yes mode nonsense to them for so much that they can't quite put their finger on it, but they don't wanna to talk to you anymore. What do I want you to do in, instead? Well, I want you to buy the book, Never Split the Difference. I want you to su subscribe to our negotiation newsletter, The Edge. But real short and sweet, stop, get out of the yes mode, flip your yes questions to no questions. Instead of, would you like this? Say, is this a bad idea? Nearly all of your yes questions can be flipped to no questions. Number one. Number two, what else do I want you to do? I want you to focus on how. I want you to focus on empathy. I want you to focus on getting that's rights out of people before you proceed. Number three, when you do gonna get a yes, get it more than once in the same conversation. There's such a thing out there called counterfeit yes. Have you ever been told yes and found out later it was a no? It's because you've been getting hit by the counterfeit yes and people have been trying to get as much information as possible out of you before they move on. How do you guard yourself from the counterfeit yes? Another way is to use the gym camp group method of three plus. Get, get them to say yes three times in the same conversation. Three straight yeses, boom, 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 boom. Get them straight in a row, paraphrase, mirror, label to get the yeses out of them. Why is that so important? Because the people that are deceiving us know we are so addicted to yes, and the counterfeit yes works on us so well, they only ever have to say it once. When you get the second yes, they'll flinch every time. When they say yes to something, so you come right back to them and say, so you've agreed this is what you're gonna do, and here's what they'll do. They'll go, yes, they'll look away, they'll look down, they'll look in some direction, they'll flinch. They'll flinch on the second yes if it's a counterfeit yes. Take these three approaches and stop killing your deals. Buy our book, Never Split the Difference. Buy it on Amazon, it's the best price. You want a good price on something? Get a good price on the book on Amazon. Subscribe to the negotiation newsletter we put out, The Edge. Text the words FBI Empathy, all one word, no spaces, don't let your spell check, autocorrect, and put a space in there. Text FBI Empathy to the number 22828 Sign up for our free weekly negotiation newsletter. It'll also tell you about upcoming trainings that we have. You get better at negotiation. You'll stop leaving money on the table and you'll stop hurting yourself in these long-term relationships and turn them into long-term relationships of prosperity, not of people avoiding you. Good luck.